Europa FM, pe aceeași frecvență cu tine. Salutare tuturor, bine ați revenit la interviurile Europa FM. Trăim în aceste zile o campanie lansată atât de administrația americană, dar și de administrația românească. O invitație, de fapt, pentru renoirea vizelor, cei care le aveți, pentru Statele Unite ale Americii. România poate atinge acel prag de 3% în decursul acestui an, ceea ce ar însemna ridicarea vizelor pentru români, poate din 2000. 25. Dar pentru asta este nevoie de o contribuție publică majoră și o să vă explicăm astăzi acest lucru pentru că el poate fi atins cu ajutorul celor care renoiesc vize, mai ales cu ajutorul lor. O să vă explicăm astăzi întregul mecanism. Invitatul meu este viceconsulul Statelor Unite la București, domnul Nathan Hubert. Welcome to Romania, welcome to Europa FM. Mulțumesc frumos! Ah, vorbiți limba română, cum ar fi. Da, și sigur. <laughs> da, și sigur. Uh, but uh, uh, we'll talk in English, yeah? Perfect. Well, perfect, ok. Uh, so, Romania, the Romanians have to reach uh, 3.0% in this uh, type of visas. Uh, how close or how far are we in this moment? Yes, so for the visa waiver program to take place, Romanian applicants of the B1, B2 tourist visa have to reach a refusal rate of 3.0% or lower. And as of today, we are not where we need to be when it comes to that. Last year, Romania was 8.79. Two years before, it was 12% or something like that. Uh, are you allowed to disclose the number we are hitting today? I I don't have numbers that we're hitting okay. exactly today, but I can share that we are lower. Uh, we were at a lower refusal rate than we hit last year. But as I as I said earlier, we are not where we need to be, unfortunately. Uh, when do we need to to, to reach this uh, milestone? It's what month of the year? Yeah, that's a great question. So the time period that's being measured is fiscal year 2024 which is from the 1st of October of 2023 until the last day of September of this year, 2024. So we say like this five months from now, maybe? Yeah, just about. Just about five months. So at this point, what can we do as Romanians to, to, to reach this milestone? Yes, so the, the main thing that we are encouraging Romanians to do, first of all, we're aware that there are about 300,000 Romanians who have had B1, B2 tourist visas to visit the United States within the last, that, that, that are either currently valid or that are eligible at least for what we're calling the interview waiver program. Uh, that's different from visa waiver. Interview waiver is if you have an American visa that is either current or your visa to visit the United States has expired within the last 48 months, uh, you are eligible to apply online for a visa renewal and send your passport physically to the uh, the US embassy here in Bucharest and then we will adjudicate your case we'll take a look at the application and take a look at your passport and adjudicate your case without the need for coming into the embassy physically you don't need to come in for another interview so you reevaluate my visa yeah or my or my file mm-hmm. and i have most chances to to have a new visa this Certainly. When, when a person has traveled recently to the United States okay. and traveled well and followed the rules of what those visas are, then it's much easier for us as uh, the adjudicators in the consular section to look at those cases and to make easy decisions. Let's work with examples. So if I have a visa which is, let's say, from five years ago, uh, can I do this? Can I send it to you? Can I apply online? If you got your visa five years ago and it's okay. a 10-year visa and it's still currently valid, okay. you can send it in to us and that would actually help Romania in achieving that refusal rate that they need to even, a- achieve visa waiver. This is important to say. Even if you don't need it to, to, to renew it, mm-hmm. you must or may send it to uh, the embassy just in order to, to touch that uh, milestone there. Absolutely. And, and sending your your passport and filling out another visa application, even if you don't need the renewal today, even if your visa doesn't expire for several more years, that would help Romania's efforts to join the visa waiver program. So you create a type of program which helps Romanians to reach that uh, 3% uh, point, but actually is the job of Romanians to do it. Absolutely. Uh, the visa waiver program is something that Romanian 
uh, the Romanian government and the United States government have been working on together, collaborating on for a number of years. And there have been many steps that have been taken uh, in that regard. But now is the critical moment. Now is the time that the, the refusal rate is being measured. And if we do not hit what is the congressionally mandated 3.0%, then visa waiver will not happen. Uh, show me the steps of this renewal process for this type of people who have visa, ongoing visas, or uh, the one that expired two years ago. Yeah. So step one, obviously, would be to see if your visa is either still valid or if it has expired within the last 48 months. Mm -hmm. And 48 months ago would be this time in the year 2020. So if your visa expired at the end of March in 2020, you are still eligible for the interview waiver program. Step two would be to go to ustraveldocs.com. ustraveldocs.com is the website where you can find all of the links that you need and all the information you need to fill out your online application and the address to send your, uh, your Romanian passport to um, the U.S. Embassy here in Bucharest, in the, the consular section. So you ha you have to send it physically, yeah? You to do. put it in envelope? Yep. You, uh, most people use a courier system okay. like UPS or Fan Courier. Okay. And after that, you have uh, you you give the new visa and the uh, passport that comes back to, to the owner, yeah? Yeah. Af af after we receive the passports and the applications, the, the four of us vice consuls, we review e each of those cases. We approve or we deny based on... Uh, on, on our adjudicating standards. And then once the visas are approved, we will print out the new visas, place them in the passports, and then ship them back to the owners. How long does it take, this process? It uh, usually takes about a week. About a week. So if you have a visa, you can renew it in, in one week. That's right. Okay. Uh, and uh, this is valid also for the people who live out, outside of Romania? Um, and they have visas too? Yes, if, if, if they have uh, Romanian passports, yeah. certainly. If they have Romanian passports. And you said uh, you have a re-evaluating process and you can't give the visa or not. You can you can do this uh, other things. So uh, can you explain us uh, why uh, do you reject some persons for, for visa? What are the reasons? <laughs> well, so there are, there are various standards that we have, laws that were written by the United States Congress yeah. that determine how we look at visa applications. Okay. And in a, in a very general sense, people who do not qualify for visas are people who have committed certain crimes or who have uh, not traveled well on previous visas. If you went and you overstayed, that does not inspire confidence to an adjudicator. And um, that, that person may not receive an additional visa because they did not respect the bounds of their last visa. This I can understand. Do you have other reasons? Because it's important for people to, to, understand, to understand this. Uh, the most important things is that you have a, a strong tie to your home country. And something like that means a lot to the person who's adjudicating the case. Uh, can you define a strong tie to, to the country? What does it mean to have money in Romania, to have properties, or what does it mean? To have a reason to come home. But this is subjective, yeah? How uh, can it, you... <laughs> It is, and, and I, I can't give you some kind of a, a blanket answer okay. for that, unfortunately. Yeah, I so, so you evaluate case by case, and... Certainly. Yeah, yeah. if you don't have a strong indication that, that people will come back to Romania, you decide to, to reject this. It's, it's not at all that we're trying to gatekeep visiting to our home nation. Uh, we want people to go to the United States. We want people to go and travel. We want people to go and work. But it has to be with the right kind of visa, and they have to respect the bounds of what that visa is. So for a tourist visa, for example, and that's the only visa that matters for the visa waiver program. That's the only visa category that's being measured. But for the, uh, the tourist visa, um, you can only go to the United States for up to six months. If you stay any longer than that, then that, that uh, violates the bounds of what that visa is meant to be. So it's very important for these people to choose the right kind of, of application, yeah, for the right type of visa. Do you, do you offer any guidance on this? Uh, well, seeming as I'm here to discuss the visa waiver program, yeah. I, I'll only encourage people to renew their B1, B2 okay. tourist okay. visas. Yes. Okay. Um, uh, there are some information obtained by uh, Free Europe Radio, and uh, they said the majority of those who were rejected are Romanians who live abroad. 
and they made the application uh, from abroad or to some United States embassies abroad. Is this right? Is this the case? I can't really speak to that. I I, I only ha I only work here in the U.S. Yeah. Embassy in Bucharest, and I'm not in touch with my colleagues who work in other United States embassies and other European nations. But I, I do know that we have the same adjudicating standards. Okay, uh, but if you are a Romanian, and this is very important for Romanians because we have millions of people who who mm -hmm. uh, who live abroad. Uh, if you are a Romanian, like let's say in Spain or Italy. Uh, What would you recommend for, for them to apply for an American visa where in this uh, world? Um, <laughs> that's, that's a wonderful question, and I, I unfortunately don't have any, any information about that. Okay, uh, uh, but what is the big concern of, uh, uh, of United States administration related to Romanians? Uh, is uh, that... that Do you have problems with uh, Romanian illegal immigration? That's a great question. So every nation has a percentage of their population that will travel and not respect the bounds of whatever visa or whatever country they are visiting. And that includes Romanian travelers to the United States, but that also includes some United States-based travelers in other countries mm -hmm. who disrespect what those visas are. Uh, what we do know about Romanian travelers is that they travel quite well. They, they travel, they stay for a week, they stay for two weeks, they come back to, to their home nation. Uh, they do not have an astoundingly high overstay rate, uh, generally speaking. And uh, so we, we, are, we are happy to report that we know that Romanians are very good travelers. This is the legal stuff, yeah. So the people who have a visa and go to the United States, but we saw on TV in the last month or last years that there are uh, networks of illegal immigrations run by Romanians or with Romanians in this uh, type of network. Uh, is this important for United States administration? Does it count in this type of process of visa waiver? I mean, I, I think I think any United States administration would worry about organized crime happening in, in its country, but I, I will leave that to our, our colleagues in the Department of Homeland Security and, and other organizations to so deal with that. So it's not take in the account this so uh, you don't look the united states administration don't put this thing together we have a problem with the romanians i don't know we have a network of illegal immigration here and this affect the visas we have a very strong partnership with romanian law enforcement and we work closely together with them to make sure that we are allowing the right kinds of of visitors into our country Okay, uh, and uh, about the we have romanian criminality in united states We have recent reports of uh, networks of, I don't know, criminals, Romanian criminals in the United States. Does it matter in this program? Can you, can you elaborate a little on what you mean? So recently we have some Romanians who were uh, washing money in the United States, have drugs problems, mm -hmm. and uh, they are caught. And I think they are uh, sent back to Romania or maybe they have some prison in the United States. Uh, this type of uh, person, uh, are they added to this percent of uh, visa refusal or do you take in account in some ways <laughs> that we have Romanian criminals there? I mean, if, if that kind of a candidate were to apply for a visa at the embassy and we were aware of their, of their criminal history, that, that person would not qualify for a visa. There are, there are things written into our law where uh, a person who has committed a certain kind of crime does not qualify for a visa or may in fact be ineligible to ever visit the United States again. I'll come back now to uh, this program we have uh, we have now. So uh, there is a possibility, you say, uh, that uh, we'll reach the three uh, percent. There is a possibility, but what happens when we reach this uh, milestone? So rather than say there is a possibility, I think it's it's more useful to say there is a hope. Okay. We we hope, and I think the Romanian government and the Roma the Romanian people have a hope that the that the visa waiver program will happen, but if we continue as things are now, it will not. We are not where we need to be, and if the measurement period for visa waiver ended today, Romania would fail, unfortunately, and we don't want that to happen. But the only thing that 
that, that gets us between now and reaching and attaining that hope that we have of the visa waiver program is if Romanians renew their visas and mass if if they if they send their passports to the U.S. embassy if they renew online or come to the embassy physically for an appointment, um, only then will that hope become a reality. So actually, it's a call to action at this point. Certainly, a absolutely. Call, yeah, for every Romanian who has a Romanian who has an American visa right now, just to renew it in any condition, even if you have it like one year ago, yeah. Definitely, I would say that yes. Okay, and after that. From uh, from the point of view of your administration, if there is first of October, yeah, and Romania has three uh, percent, uh, what's going on from there? I think it, it, I think it may be irresponsible irresponsible of us to discuss a timeline. Okay, when we are so far from where we need to be. So it's not an automated process. It's three percent. Then the visa waiver works. It would. If and only if that were to happen, if if and only yeah. if we reach three yeah. percent, it would not be an automatic thing. The other part of the visa waiver program is that the U.S. government and the Romanian government have been working together, some of these agencies, for many years, on on various agreements and accords. And um, the Romanian government is being uh, an incredible partner and and pursuing a lot of these these accords with um, with so great interest. And so that that's the other half of. Yeah, waiver. and this half means that Romania needs some kind of approval. What type? It's from the United States government or it's from the Congress? So the U.S. Congress has passed some laws, and this is getting yeah. a little technical, but the U.S. Congress has passed some laws where the 3% refusal rate is only one of the boxes. The other okay. boxes are the government-to-government -government agreements that they are working on together. Okay. And so... If October 1st rolls around and we have reached that number, and I, I will repeat, if and only if, because yes. we are currently not where we need to be, um, that would be a check in the right box. And then the rollout of visa waiver would happen at a later date. But like I said, we may be prematurely discussing a timeline. Okay, so you are taking into account this date of 1st October. Uh, this means that somewhere in 2025, if the, all the boxes are uh, uh, checked, maybe 2026, let's say, if the, all the boxes are checked, we can have the visa waiver. But what happens if in the next fiscal year, or in the next fiscal year, years, uh, Romania uh, doesn't achieve this 3% again? Yeah, there are currently... No, there's currently no information on what would happen if if yeah. we do not achieve the visa waiver program. And by that, I mean, if we do not take advantage of this measurement period and get all of the renewals and all and lower the, the refusal rate to the degree that it needs to be at, then I, I cannot speak on when Romania would be able to move forward on potentially working toward the visa waiver program again. So what you are saying here, it's the only one chance at the moment we have. Yes, or, or the most important chance. Yes, and and I would encourage anybody listening to this. I would encourage any Romanian who has a visa or who has had a valid visa in the last four years to do everything they can to renew. Uh, I've I've heard several discussions on on people saying, "I'm not going to renew because I'm going to wait until 2025," and that is that is very much not a sure thing. And this is not something that we can wait to happen. It's not something we can wait for our neighbors to go apply. It's not something we can sit on. This requires action, and it requires action now, and it requires action from each and every, every Romanian who is eligible for the interview waiver program to submit their applications and to do their part to make visa waiver a reality. Thank you very much. Thank you. Europa FM, pe